Hey guys, this is Carol. I'm here with a hopefully quick tutorial on how to use this new block I made. It's a uh, weld block. So the cool thing about this is it's all one block. I know in the past we kind of, well, mostly we used nothing and it was just a bunch of lines and words and whatever and a leader. And then I know for a while we tried to make it all one block or Wait, no, all several blocks combined together to make it. But uh, I managed to find a way to make it all one block. So that's what's really cool about it. Anyway, so the whole reason behind, you know, why we even wanted to create these blocks in the first place was, uh, you know, you can put these blocks in the tool palette. So for the welds, when they weren't blocked, we had to go, you know, find them in some other drawing somewhere and just kind of use that. And, uh, you know, that... that kind of waste of time it's a lot easier if you just have it in your tool palette over here and you just click it and put it there right um, another thing is a, a flipping issue I think a lot of new drafters would end up mirroring the whole thing and then you know your, your weld sides on the wrong side and lights on the other side and then suddenly you know your 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 weld symbols backwards too and all that but you know I put a flip thing so only the proper things will flip and then lastly, you know, because Yelena asked, because originally I didn't even have a tail, and she said, hey, why don't you add a tail? And I'm like, okay. And she said, hey, how about you add a leader, too, with uh, two points? That way, you know, if I need to wrap around an object or something, I can still point at the spot I want to weld. I'm like, okay, I can do that. And uh, it took a lot more work than uh, I thought, but, you know, I got it done. Actually, I knew it was going to be a lot of work. What am I talking about? Okay. <laughs> anyway, on to usage. Um, so all these are attributes, and they're all pretty, uh, I don't know, obvious, I guess? Uh, this one, you know, you just type whatever type of weld you want right here. You say, you know, typical. This is typical. Or you say, this is centered. Whatever. And move it if it's in the way for whatever reason, you know ortho off whatever and this one's just you know the length three inches five inches whatever this one's a little tricky you got to put the squiggly mark thing and then you got to put a number this number is just over 16 so this four over 16 gives you this one quarter right here but you're supposed to do like five it'll give you five over 16 like that or three you know three over 16 so whatever um so that's kind of how to use that. Uh, it's because of the special textile uses. Uh, if you don't have it, uh, I, I don't know. You could put your own in it. I'll go over that later. Uh, the other thing is, um, oh, it has, uh, it has a, yeah, it has two of these leaders, and they kind of pick up the same spot here. And he'll, he'll, let me show you what I mean by going down here. All right, so let's say we got to weld this uh, hardware, whatever. Um... Okay, so it's going to be a double, right? Because we're going to weld this side and this side. And it's going to be a shop weld because we're not doing the field. So no flag. And centered? Who cares? I'm going to remove it. Okay, so right now, you know, you see this leader is pointing right here. If I switch to the 2.1, it's also pointing right here. Huh. And if I move this 2-point leader so it points like down here, and switch back to the one you'll see that it's also pointing down there so all this means is this move action down here it controls both uh controls both freaking leader heads so it doesn't move there you know if i move this one the other one will move there too so point so they're all controlled. so that's really a little usage tip okay now other things um when you use this for actual drawings, you're gonna have to scale it up because right now it's drawn on a one to one, so you'll have to draw it up uh, or scale it up to whatever size you need. So this is three quarters equals one foot, so I have to scale it up sixteen times. Boom. There. Uh, let's reset. That way we get there. Uh, let's see. Quarter. I think it's a double again. Don't need the tail. And that looks good. All right, then you just point at the thing. Okay, easy. All right. And then if you need another one for this plate to this beam right here, it's right there, flip it, 
and then point. All right, that's easy enough. Okay, um, there are a couple caveats. Um, one, I only got the fillet and the flare bevel, so if you need another weld, like a pen weld or something, or, uh, whatever, you know, you, you gotta, well, you just have to explode the block, I guess, because I could add it, but uh, I don't really have the time to do it, even if I wanted. Um, so yeah, there's that. And the other thing, it only has two options for the leader head. So if you needed another, you know, type of pointing thing, here, let me show you. Like, uh, if you have something like this, where you have to weld this plate to this column right here, at these three red spots, you know, you would just have to take the uh, one of these. And then there's a couple things you do. You could either have one point like that, and then make some leaders, and then have those leaders point there, or you can just paste this block over itself, and then do the two point one. Where is the two point? Boop. Boop. Mm. That paste the block over itself again. That Where's the two point. Whatever. All right. Or I guess if you really want, you can explode it too. Uh, that's, that's probably don't need to, but you can. Anyway, the the last thing um, is a special textile I use for it to make the fraction show up. Um, I'm using this uh, WW-1X thing, and it uses the special fraction dot or fract dot SHX. So if you don't have that, and as far as I know, everyone in the office has it uh you i guess you can just modify it to whatever file you use for fractions and then you know just remember that when you input it for your uh attribute um but yeah you other than that i would not change too much so literally you know if you're trying to change this just change that this thing right here don't don't touch anything else in here because um it's pretty sensitive if you move stuff it might break uh, but if you if you really need something, you know, just let me know and then maybe I can fix it and add it for you. Uh, anyway, uh, special thanks. Uh, thanks to Miriam for initially even teaching me about the welds. She sat me down for like five minutes and then, you know, showed me the welds. <laughs> and then, you know, that's kind of new. Uh, thanks to Yelena for teaching me how to create visibilities. The first time she showed me that, it blew my mind. It was like, wow. That, that is really useful. Like, you could do so much with it. We don't do that much with it, but we could have. Uh, or we are with this block, I guess. Um, thanks to Mindy for teaching me how to properly create blocks. Because the first time I made a block, or the first couple of times, actually, I always made it with the weird base point, and that really screws up your drawing sometimes when you have it at a weird base point. Um, so now, now my base points are usually near the block. And uh, thanks also for teaching me the points of layers. Because I used to just draw the block whatever layer I was on. And then I would end up copying and pasting that block to other drawings. And then, you know, I'd bring like extra layers that we didn't want. Uh, so, but now all my blocks are on zero layer, I promise. Thanks, thanks, Mindy. And uh, thanks to Don Critchley for always picking up the phone when I called. Even though he probably knew I was going to ask something really, really stupid. Uh, thanks to Chris Bay for always reminding me there's always more things for me to learn. And lastly, if you, you know, have any problems or suggestions for this block, go ahead and, you know, leave a comment or email me or whatever. And if you have suggestions for future blocks, you know, let me know about that too. Anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want. Uh, that doesn't really help me, but, you know, if you want to do it, you can. All right, cool. That's it.